Okay, welcome to se session four. This is the dangers of pornography. Um, this is where we're gonna understand its impact to uh, us and to our families, our society, and our world, and even in our relationship with God. Okay, here we go. Um, I wanna tell you that porn is dangerous, but maybe you don't believe me. Let's get the experts on here. Uh, this is Dr. Tim Chilton, president of American Association Christian Council. He says he believes that the porn epidemic is destroying us. I don't think we've yet begin to see the tidal wave of effects of what is going to happen in our relationship. So he's saying pornography impacts our relationship. Here's another gentleman. This is um, the CEO of an organization called Canopy. Canopy is a, I would, I'm going to recommend as one of those uh, pornographic uh, filters. And he said this, uh, he says this, my wife and I have four children. We want to give them a chance to be kids. We want to provide them a space to develop a healthy understanding of intimacy. We would love for them to meet a great person, get married, and have happy marriages. All of those things become significantly harder in a world saturated by pornography. He also says, as someone who cares about families flourishing, I think pornography is one of the greatest challenge we have to confront. It, it causes a tremendous amount of suffering, wrapped, warped imagination, impedes our healthy relationship, destroys marriages and more. This is born out of, by survey research, medical studies, and a thousand heartbreaking anecdotes that, can, that I could share. Right now, it is hard to avoid even if you don't seek it out. So these men are in this field, they understand the danger of this issue and the impact of this issue. And they're saying this is one of the most dangerous um, uh, thing that's impacting our society and families today. All right, let me, I'm going to go uh, how it's impacting you, your spouse, your family, your society, and God. All right, let's go to the first one, how it's impacting you. Okay. You already know from the videos we watched from the previous uh, segments that it changes your mind, it changes your behavior, it changes your relationships, it, um, it, it just, it, 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 the money that we spend, the time that we waste, it impacts you as a person, it changes you. According to that, that the, some of those video, our brains is like a, a sponge. You can mold it into certain, it's like plastic. You can mold it into certain things. And um, the positive, the negative of that, it molds you to those things, but the positive, it can also be molded back. And so when you pursue pornography, it changes your mind, the way you think, and you'll see that in a few minutes. But I wanna say this to gentlemen who are watching this, um, I don't know if you know, but pornography causes erectile dysfunction, okay? The more use that you, 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 you have on pornography, you, you masturbate, and then eventually things don't satisfy you anymore. You can't literally get it up anymore. You have no, your sexual desires, you, you, I, uh, you, your sexual desires are gone. In fact, I have been counseling men that are struggling with pornography. I have, we've had, uh, my wife and I have uh, counseling couples and we've had three gentlemen who've come to us and two of them don't want to have sex with their wives any longer because they're not satisfied. And, um, and, and so you, you, you can see from the surveys here, men as young as 25 years old had developed Pornography-induced erectile dysfunction. The older study from 2012 indicates a rate of 25% in men under 40. Look at this last one. Um, the website Selling Viagra has stated that 40% of men under 40 have developed a porn-induced erectile dysfunction. This article by the market research company states that 50% of men in their 30s have erectile dysfunction. In 2002, the study showed that only two to three percent of men under 40 um, uh, presents to doctors with erectile dysfunction. In other words, just recently, that percentage has gone up, but in 2012, there was only two to three percent have this problem. 
but now we're having this problem because of the porn industry and men are no longer sad by this. It's, it's so crazy. I'll even say this in, in the society, some society like Japan, men, uh, teenagers are, are, no, are not having relationships anymore because they are, uh, dorn, uh, are addicted to porn. Okay, so that's your personal effect, the mind, your habits, your spending and all that. And, and sexually, you, you, you won't be able to deliver any longer. Uh, you don't get satisfied. Okay, number two, um, and this is where I want to really stress, um, pornography destroys your marriage. And I want men to understand that. This is very important to me. According to these data, and I'm going to speak out of my heart in a few minutes, but according to data, pornography use has increased marital infidelity more than 300%, okay, 300%. 56 um, percent of American divorce involves one party having obsessed inter, uh, interest in pornographic websites. In 2011, 40% of online pornography were also consumed by women, interestingly. And 55% of men and 25% of women say they watch porn at least once a month. Okay. I want you to understand this, that when you are doing pornography, you are cheating on your wife. Okay. You're cheating on your wife. Um, um, and... Uh, uh, I, I want to say this. Here's um, for teenage guys. Um, you're also cheating on your future spouse. Um, this is how it, if you're a young man under the, uh, let's say a teenager, 11 to 16, this is what I want you to understand. Here's an analogy that I want you to have. I want you to understand if I was going to tell you, hey, in six years, I want you to be in a tournament, okay? And in the next six years, I want you to practice for that tournament. Let's say I want you to be in football, in, uh, in, in be attending a, co uh, a competition of football in six years. So every day, uh, I want you to practice. Maybe you do it four or five times a week for the next six years. Okay, so you practice, you go on, and then six years has happened. And in six, that's the, we go to the tournament that day, and that tournament, all of a sudden, when I take you there, it's a golf tournament. It's not a pornog it's not a it's not a football tournament. What I'm trying to say to you is you you practice pornography, if you practice football, and when you get married after six years, it will be a totally different uh, relating to your spouse and sex. Sex you will think it's like this, but in when you get married, it's totally different and you and your spouse are going to get frustrated. You're starting off with marriage in the wrong step, in the wrong place, and it will impact. I guarantee you it'll impact your marriage, okay? And so um, um, I want to say this. I, I really want you to understand this, that you and I are cheating our spouse, whether you're married today and you do pronounce you are cheating on your spouse biblically and relationally and then also if you have a future relation you're cheating on your wife already your future wife already if you're a teenage young man today and i want i want to really hammer this point i want i, I want to give you this picture this is a physically abused woman okay this is a physically abused woman. And I, I, the only way I can hammer the point to you is I want to show you a picture. This is domestic violence. And um, this is the emotional abuse that we men give when we are in pornography to our spouse. Yes, it may heal, but the wounds of emotion will last for, for their lifetime unless God does a miraculous thing. This is how terrible pornography is. And I want to challenge us men today that we need to stop because we are physically abusing, not physically abusing, emotionally abusing our spouse. And it's like this physically. It's worse than physical abuse. It's emotional abuse. And if you need a woman to tell you that, you ask any woman and they will tell you 
that this is damaging to them. You already understand that our society puts so much pressure on young women and, and women today. And when you pursue pornography, what you're doing is, is adding to that. If this is what you're doing. You are physically, I mean emotionally, abusing your spouse. And you need to stop it. You need to stop it. I, I encourage you to stop it. I challenge you to stop it. I rebuke you to stop it. This is a big deal in our, in our world today. Okay, I want to move on and I want to say it also impacts your family. It also impacts your family. And I want to, uh, what do I, 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 I like to be visual and look at this picture that I want to say, uh, show here. And I, I, show, I, I selected these pictures because this is the idea that I want you to get when you as a man pursue pornography when you have a family. It's like throwing a bomb in your home. Okay, do you understand that? It's like throwing a bomb in your home. Uh, I don't know if you know, but the porn industry uh, targets, targets 7 to 11 year olds. Target seven to eleven year olds. You know why? Because they want long, lifelong, um, um, lifelong users, and that's that's terrible. It's a, it's a it's an evil in our society. The average age uh, they say by the time an eleven year old uh, a, a young man is eleven year, they've seen porno, pornographic image already. Ninety three percent of boys and sixty two percent of girls are exposed to pornography during their adolescent years. Ninety three percent. Be careful when you send your kids to his friend's house. Understand who has a phone uh, and, and so forth. And here's, I have four daughters and it's sad for me to say that my girls will not marry a young man who has not seen pornographic, who has not seen a pornographic image. That's how pervasive it is. In fact, there's this study that was hilarious in a sense. They a uh, university study. Do we wanted to research seeking men in their 20s who have never consumed pornography. Guess what they found out? They couldn't find any men that way. They couldn't find any men who has not been exposed to pornography. Pornography endangers our children. So we as fathers need to step up and protect our children. You as a father, if you're looking at, if you're listening to this, you need to protect your children. You need to be the one setting up those um, systems and filters in your homes. Okay. All right. Number three, um, or four, society. How does pornography uh, impact society? Our society. Well, uh, it normalizes um, um, women being dominated, okay? It um, affirms abuse to uh, uh, women. Um, and the average age of marriage is pushed back now. In the 70s, yeah, men used to get uh, married right after high school or, or college. Now it's around 30 years old. But here, here's a graphic that I just wanna show people. Um, this is, uh, <clears throat> um, a question that was uh, given to men, do you support women's right? And it shows here that if you're, you have no exposure of pornography, you support women's right. But when you have intermediate use of pornography, 48, you only uh, uh, support um, women's right by 48%. And, but if you have a lot of use of pornography, you only support women's rights by 25% because you start looking at women as an object. Now, look at from, the, uh, from men who have been in prison. This is Ted Bundy, uh, people know him. And he said this, We've, I've lived in prison for a long time now and I've met a lot of men who are motivated to commit violence just like me and without exception. Every one of them was deeply involved with pornography, without question, without exception, deeply influenced and consumed by addiction to pornography. Okay. Um, I think there was a shooting in Atlanta recently uh, uh, about a young man um, that was um, uh, doing those sweatshops, uh, massage parlors, and 
If you read the story of that, he was very addicted to pornography. And so um, we need to be a little wiser in, in our understanding of, 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 of pornography and its impact. And I just want to say, you know, uh, watching, not me watching, but people watching um, pornographic images, we think that's glamorous. We think that they're having a great time. It's, it's, it's behind the scenes. And I just want to show you that the pornographic industry is destroying its actors. And look at this. Um, uh, the pornographic industry behind the cameras here, the pornographic industry is the highest rate of murder in, in any industry. Number two, it's the highest rate of suicide. Number three, the average age of um, female that die in pornography is 37 years old. 90% of women in porn are addicted to illegal drugs. Why do you suppose they're addicted to drugs? Because of the pain that they're going through, the abuse that they're going through, the, 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 the awfulness of, that they're going to. And 100% of actors in pornographic industry have STD, STI, STI disease, um, and um, the average duration of a porno, for a woman in pornography is six months. For, for males, it's about around five years. And so it's not as glamorous as we think it is. And so I, I just want to highlight that. And last but not least, how does this impact with God? And I think you understand that more clearly, and it, it just uh, destroys our relationship with God. Uh, because the, even the psalmist says, then I acknowledge, but when we acknowledge my sin to you and did not cover my iniquities, I said, I will confess my transgression to the Lord and you forgave the guilt of my sins. What I'm trying to say here is that if we confess our sins to God, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. Obviously, I can, can't tell you enough how, how damaging pornography is to our relationship with God. And so I want to summarize some things here. Uh, here's a quick summary of how pornography uh, impacts us very quickly here. This is by Tim Chester in his book, um, Closing the Window, which I highly recommend, which I will share at the end of this uh, video uh, as, a, as a link. But here's uh, his top 12 things that he says how pornography impacts us. Number one, Porn wrecks our view of sex. Again, my story about golf and football. Porn wrecks our view of sex. Number two, porn wrecks our view of women. We, we, we think of women as objects and they are not. They're created in the image of God. Um, number three, porn wrecks our view, uh, women's view of themselves. I tell you, they cannot live up to the videos that, that, that we men watch and it destroys them emotionally. Number four, the porn industry abuses women, as you can see from, from the stats that we looked at. Number five, porn is a sin against your wife or your future spouse, okay? It's a sin against your wife and your future spouse. Number six, porn wrecks our family. It destroys our family. Um, number seven, porn enslaves you and me. Number eight, Porn erodes our character, not only our minds, but our behavior. Number uh, nine, porn is a waste of time, energy, and money. Number 10, porn wrecks our relationship with God. Number 11, porn wrecks your service instead of focusing on others, helping on others in our family, in our community, in our world, we start focusing on ourselves. Number 12, God's wrath is against people who use porn. Okay. So I hope that helps and challenges you and come join me in the next session.